Hello Taurus, welcome to your monthly reading for May 2017 to better understand your, the energies this reading comes from I advise you to read the description to not further stall I will pull out the diamond and let me just shuffle the cards a little more um, so I pull out the diamond the first card is the issue the second card is the insight influence which you are unaware of the third card is the influence from outside you are aware of the fourth card uh, excuse me the fourth card is what is needed for a solution of the question or the matter or the issue and the five card is the is the solution or what comes clear and I after the reading I will draw an additional Zen Osho Tarot card and the readout from the booklet um, and this tarot card will be for the point that keeps you Zen towards resolving paradoxes so the paradoxes are described like I see them in the description and to not further stall what is the issue the issue is the page of pentacles and so the page of pentacles is money considering um, and for somebody who likes things to go slow and steadily this card means the knave or the, the page a student uh, instruction meditation intellectual work and a suitor with dark eyes and hair if you want your dream to come true act cautiously so the issue of Taurus is uh, about acting cautiously and what is inside influence of this is the seven of swords and the seven of swords in this deck is hope obstacles realizing your dream will overcome with patience and willpower be careful of gossip so within your intellectual work uh, you have issues concerning gossip and whatever is all been told in these matters and in resolving your dreams maybe I don't know so the influence you are aware of within this matter is the tree of pentacles and the tree of pentacles is about commandeering uh, about um, co cooperation and it is also the commander, being a commander of your own uh, and other situations, loans, scholarships, help from influential people in making your dream, dream come true, positive results, ambitions satisfied. So maybe you will meet some persons who are in influential positions for bettering your cause, that's a uh, well solution. So. What is uh, needed for the solution is the seven of chalices or the seven of cups and the seven of cups is imagination so you need you to use your imagination if you are dreaming of engagement or marriage know that you can succeed new meetings will be exciting meaningful phone calls so within your intellectual work it is important to keep communicating especially with the people who are beneficial to your cause and whatever comes clear when pursuing this is um, the tree of swords and the tree of swords is uh, definitely something with moving um, separation so whatever comes clear is that maybe separation is needed and for separation, departure, delay and breakup, incompatibility, misanthropy, doubt, diffidence, 
may render the efforts you make useless for making your dream come true. So that is a little bit a bad omen card, but it is on a path uh, that will make you transform, I'm sure. But you are in definitely um, need for some restructuring in your life as I see it to these cards. So I will now pull and shuffle a Zen Osho Tarot card in which will make you um, see the paradoxes in your life and read from the booklet. So I will shuffle until a card reveals itself. And this one is it. Yes, as it is, something with guilt. So Taurus, you are definitely having some issues this month, the guilt card. And as you can see, it is a woman um, that is uh, holding her head and screaming, as you can see. So. I will not delay further and read out the Osho Zen uh, card. So it is the Eight of Clouds in this deck, I'm sure. Uh, so we go to the Minor Arcana Cloud cards. Sorry for the delay. Sorry for the delay. I'm Yes, um, clouds, the eight, oh, excuse me for the delay, I, I need to look at the minor arcana, the eight of clouds, guilt, 132, sorry, for the delay, 132. Here we are. Guilt is one of the most destructive emotions in which we can get caught. If we have wronged another or gone against our own truth, then of course we will feel bad. But to let ourselves be overwhelmed with guilt is to invite a migraine. We end up surrounded by nagging clouds of self-doubt and feelings of worthlessness to the point where we cannot see any of the beauty of and joy that life is trying to offer us. We all long to be better people, more loving, more aware, more true to ourselves, but when we punish ourselves for our failures by feeling guilty, we can get locked into a cycle of despair and hopelessness that robs us of all clarity about ourselves and the situation we encounter. You are absolutely okay as you are, and it is absolutely natural to go astray for, from time to time. Just learn from it, move on and use the lessons not to make the same mistake again. So I'm sorry Taurus, this is a negative, well, not negative, but it is not a good reading. I um, uh, will continue and um, hopefully I will have a better reading for you next month. This moment, maybe this part of the book will have some more some better uh, news this here now is forgotten when you start thinking in terms of achieving something when the achieving mind arises you lose contact with the paradise you are in this is one of the most liberating approaches it liberates you right now forget all about sin and forget all about saint saintliness both are stupid both together have destroyed all of the joys of humanity the sinner is feeling guilty, hence his joy is lost. How can you enjoy life if you are continuously feeling guilty? If you are continuously going to the church to confess that you have done this wrong and wrong and that wrong. And wrong and wrong and wrong. Your whole life seems to be made of sins. How can you live joyously? It becomes impossible to delight in life. You become heavy, loaded. Guilt sits on your chest like a rock, it crushes you, it does not allow you to dance. How can you dance? How can guilt dance? How can guilt sing? How can guilt laugh? How can guilt live? So the one who thinks he is doing something wrong is guilty. 
burdened death before death has already entered into the grave so you Taurus have to transcend something within this I can surely understand you do not resonate with this reading at all I just make these readings from a very logical standpoint and take a direct approach so this is your reading and I hope I see you next month uh, and I will definitely hope I will have a better reading Take care.